Hello everyone, welcome to new episode of Phone Era Talk. I am Karthik and today we are going to be discussing about a couple of interesting topics for the day. So for the first topic we have a news from Google. As you may or may not know Google is actually going to be launching their Pixel, the Pixel News, Pixel smartphones that is the Pixel XL and the Pixel. So these are the basically rebranded Nexus devices that the company is about to launch. So we didn't have any official confirmation about their release date but uh, according to the new reports that we had actually Google they themselves confirmed in their YouTube uh, channel they released a teaser video for the device and it is confirmed that they are going to be launching the device on October 4th that is pretty much October 5th in India so it is expected that the company is going to be launching these two smartphones uh, on the on the on launch event and as far as the specifications and everything goes uh, as of now we know that these smartphones are going to be coming with uh, Snapdragon 821 processors 4 GB of RAM and uh, just basic pretty much all the specifications is known at this time. You can check the links for more detailed description and more detailed specifications on this. Interestingly, couple of images were also leaked yesterday. So just before this teaser Im video was launched, a uh, couple of minutes before that the leaked images also came out. So you can check out the links for more detailed images and everything you can see. For the next news, we have yet another news from Google and this is again about the same Pixel devices. So Yesterday we had some of the reports that confirmed that these Google uh, these new devices might come with the support for uh, dual boot OS. So if you don't know what exactly that means is basically there's not going to be two OS. There's going to be only one single operating system that is going to be Android. But apparently it is reported that these devices will be able to run uh, two versions of Android. Let's say for example you're running a stock Android in your smartphone. You can simultaneously run another custom ROM as well. So let's say for example if you want to run a Cyanogen mod or any other custom ROM for that matter. You'll be able to do that with these new Pixel devices. Uh, there's actually very, very interesting technology behind this. Uh, as you all know that the storage that comes in our smartphones is divided into different uh, partitions. So similarly in these smartphones, they're going to be duplicate partitions for everything. And uh, as soon as you install a, a ROM or probably if you update your device, these ROM will be changed. I mean the system boot will change on the fly and automatically the OS will be changed. So it's pretty interesting topic. You can check the links for more detailed description on that. Uh, we're looking forward to that. For the last news, we have a news from BlackBerry. Uh, we all know that BlackBerry launched their new uh, DTEK 50 smartphone a couple of months back. So that was supposed to be the uh, world's most secure smartphone. I mean, at least that's what the company claimed. But we can't really give a surety on that because uh, the quad router fl uh, flaw that we had, that was uh, the device was actually affected by that. So we don't really comment on that. But apparently we have some new uh, leaks and rumors claiming that uh, the company might actually be working on a successor to this smartphone. And it is obviously called the DTEK 60. And uh, as far as the rumors and specifications goes, it is expected that this device will come with a fingerprint scanner. So this will pretty much be the first device that the company is going to launch that comes with a fingerprint scanner. So that is pretty interesting to look out for here. And as far as the other specifications go, we are looking at a Snapdragon 820 processor and 4GB RAM and 32GB storage. And yeah, just pretty much basic all the same specifications that we are used to in all stack today. So you can check the links for more detailed description specifications on this. So that's it for today's video guys. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and stay subscribed for more videos like this. I'm Karthik and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.